Go. All right. Good afternoon, everyone. So, have you ever met like a big natural calamity such as a tsunami or earthquake, hurricane before? So, if you met this kind of disaster, you will lose not only your staff, but only, but, but also your lot of media, such as internet, TV. Yeah. However, if you hold, if you hold this kind of media, you will not, you will not lose your information, and you can keep up with your latest information. Yeah, it's easy to hold it because it's not big. It's not as big as like a TV or laptop. This is radio. Today I'm gonna talk about the radio uh, index by dividing into three parts, which are the person who are involved in making radio and how does the radio works and the last one, the influence of the radio. So let me talk about the first main points, the person who are involved in the ma making radio. So in this chapter I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about two famous persons which are Guglielmo Marconi and Reginald Federsen. First, Guglielmo Marconi. He was born in Italy, in Bologna, Italy, in 1874. And he's an inventor of making radio. Uh, he's also known for uh, the, he's also known for the long distance transmission. He got a Nobel Prize for physics in 1909 for the development of the wireless telegraphy. So now I've talked about his general information. So you might think that what is wireless telegraphy? It is uh, electrical, electrical signaling yeah, without wires to connect the endpoint by, by using a radio. So as the biggest moment of here, he, he just in, investigated to the means to signal completely connect uh, in the Atlantic Ocean. So in 1901, he tried he, he was succeeded to transmit a little small s from England to Canada. So he's the first first inventor who transmitted the letter uh, all over the world. Okay. So next up is about the regional president. <coughs> he was born in East Bolton in Canada in 1866. He's an electrician and he's also known for as a pioneer of the radio. He got a, in his career, he got a hundred of patents, not only for the radio, but also for the television. His, his biggest successful achievement is that he was the first person he was the first person to perform the broadcasting radio in the, on December 21st in 1960 1906 so now I've talked about two famous inventors who are involved in the ra making the radio so now you might think that how does the radio work so I will tell you about that by dividing into two parts. Comparison. Um, major types of radio, which is AM and FM. Okay, comparison. Obviously the quality of the radio was uh, between past and present is different. In the past, the sound was so noisy. Yeah. So some people couldn't hear the sound well sometimes. It is, because, it is because of the fact that the radio wave was pretty big at the past and there was, there was no signal here uh, which, which was used for catching the wave at that time. All right. But time, by, time goes, by time goes, the quality became much better than before, actually. Uh, it is used by many people and digital music news on dry on June 13, 2012, state that 93% of Americans whose age is over 12, it means like 241 million people, uh, use this tap, users turn into the radio once a week, at least. Right. right now, radio has 
been developing navigation systems such as GPS, GPS satellite. Yeah. So GPS satellite can be used by receiver, by receiver in the ship or aircraft, but for indicating the exact location. <coughs> and also, sound, sound was pretty noisy, but in the present, it became pretty clear than before. Right. So as you know, radio has two major types of the. Yeah, as you know, radio has two major types, which is AM radio and FM radio. So now I'm gonna talk about the AM radio. It was broadcasted in 1906. Yeah. And AM is the first method, first method of impressing the sound. KDK, a thousand twelve, a thousand twenty became the first AM station. Uh, to broadcast in 1982. The problem is that the is noisy. It's more noisy than to use an FM. And it's specialized. It specializes in news and sports and talk radio. All right, FM radio. It was broadcasted in 1939. Yeah, it was created by the by Edwin Armstrong. This guy. He invented like an uh, FM radio. So, FM radio is obviously famous for sound music. So, you might, I think you might like uh, experience the FM radio before all of them. Uh, so, it is durable, it is so durable for jamming, and sound is pretty clear than AM, but it's difficult to ex expect the uh, like uh, exact location where we can like uh, listen to music in the car or everywhere. Okay now we are talking about like a comparison comparison and uh, AM and FM radio. So the final chapter is gonna be the influence on the radio. I'm gonna talk about that by dividing into national calamity and uh, music industry. So let me talk about the national calamity like at first. National calamity. So Radio has a big influence of the national calamities like a disaster. When disgusting tsunami and earthquakes happened in my country in Japan in 2010, yeah, radio had a remarkable contribution on the people around there. A certain, a certain uh, radio station tried not to tell the detail about the tsunami or earthquake because it's, if they like to listen about the detail, it's gonna be confusing. So that's why a certain southern radio station tried to inform them of like earthquake, earthquake or tsunami is gonna it's up, approaching right now. So you guys have to like uh, get out here. You have to escape that. So it was so helpful for them. Radio saved many lives there. Yeah, if you if you like uh, if you uh, if national calamity happen in a certain place. You obviously lose your social media. It's like a TV or internet, laptop. But you can you can hold a radio easily because it knows it's not as big as a TV or radio. Yeah, and you can keep up with your latest information at any time. Yeah. The radio has a one more big contribution on the disaster, which is about World War One. From 19, 1914 to 1918, it was used for like a transmission of the voice. So they use a they use a radio for communication communication with like a opponent and the fellows. So they could they could know what's going on on the opponent and what my fellow are doing in the southern place. And also. The radio was used for like uh, detecting the place, detecting the battleship. Or yeah, so they could know, they could know if like uh, opponent uh, hitting hitting the our ship or not at that time. So next up is the music industry. Press. Actually, we are listening the music and we can get our mu music everywhere, such as a bar, restaurant, music everywhere. Is listening, turning the radio. Actually, yeah. The actually music is come from the radio. 
from so yeah Nielsen.com on August 14, 2012 state that 48% of people are usually find their music through the radio even though YouTube is just only 7% Variety. We have a lot of radio radio stations, especially in the LA. So I'm gonna tell about two specific radio stations which I'm interested in right now. KIIS of Los Angeles and KSOL FM. These are both of them are famous radio stations in LA area. So maybe you will enjoy listening. So conclusion. In this presentation I talked about Two inventors and uh, Cordis, which are like uh, Cordis is AM and FM and how that will work. And the influence, which is national calamity for national calamity and uh, music industry. Yeah. I think that it is through the TV or internet has has become like a more common and popular to get our latest information. But I think we should keep in mind that. Radio has, a, has also a lot of contribution on the public. So if you, when this disaster happened, yeah, radio is gonna be more convenient than TV or internet. So thank you for listening my presentation. And if you have a question, I'll be happy to answer. Thank you.